for daily ask reddit minorities of reddit what experience was so unbelievably racist to the point where you weren't even mad but just confused went to a bar while back visiting my hometown small town in the midwest drunk angry hillbilly looks at me and says filthy wet back the brazenness took me off guard so I wasn't even offended. After the situation sank in, I got my friends and we left, because who knows what a racist pose and his friends might try to pull if we hang out too long. Also, I'm Asian, so if he's not even smart enough to call me a ching chang, he's probably more dangerous than a normal racist. I was hanging outside a bar with my current boyfriend and a bunch of other people when an homeless woman sauntered up and said to my boyfriend, do you like sleeping with that cook with her sideways vagina? Everyone went quiet and she just walked away. The weird bit was that I was the only person there that didn't know that the word was a slur. So I just stood there really lost after hearing some really old to me racism. Sideways vagina that's when you know you've hit the real old school racism when it includes rumors that your anatomy is completely different from normal human expectations. Like the old rumors that Jews have horns, etc. Asian American, I was born and raised in the Midwestern USA and English is my first and only fluent language. I got a fix-it ticket for a burnt out headlight a couple years back and before getting it replaced I ended up getting carjacked at gunpoint. The guys ended up totaling the car in a high speed chase with the police. A couple days later I go to my assigned court date for the aforementioned ticket and explain that I won't be getting my headlight replaced since, yeah no, I got ducking carjacked and had a shotgun stuck in my face. The clerk to the judge, middle aged white lady, looks at me and with a straight face and says, what? Don't you know kung fu? I don't think she meant to be malicious or racist, but it's amazing that people are that daft. It's pretty messed up how open racism towards Asian people is just tolerated since we are model minorities and considered to be timid and subservient. I knew a guy in preschool. He was at the time my best friend. After I changed schools at the end of the year, we lost touch because how are four yo kids gonna keep in touch? A few years later, I was like 11, I went to a day camp, and lo and behold, he was there. I recognized him, but he didn't. I went over to talk to him, and one of the first things he tells me is, that he isn't friends with an asterisk 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 s. It didn't make me mad or disappointed, just confused that someone who was my best friend could one day turn around, and become so overtly racist. I'm a Latino man living in the south. I've lived here a long time, and every racist encounter has always been weird. Why? Because I'm what me and my friends call racially ambiguous. I have been called all kinds of racial slurs. A lot of slurs aimed at Mexicans and Middle Eastern folks. A more specific occasion was when an old white couple looked at my biracial daughter as if she was trash because she was speaking Spanglish to her very white mom. After some time, you just ignore the shit aimed at you, but seeing it done to her hit hard. I was more sad and confused than mad. She's just a child. How could someone look at a child like that because she speaks to languages? Edit. Thanks for the kind words, strangers. Don't worry too much about it though, we've all got something on our shoulders nowadays. She's a strong kid and I'll make sure she knows that there is no shame in being who she is. I was asked to sing at a graduation event in college. The director of the faculty sent me at least 10 voice messages telling me what he wanted me to sing. It was just different forms of something black. Like the first two audios he suggested like 10 black artists. Then he said I should sing something from a black city I'm not from. Then he said something about how it should honor my roots. Then he said he wanted me to sing something soulful. Then he went back to mention other black cities he assumed my family was from. By the end of it, I was so confused. I have a few, but the one I was most confused about happened when I was at the mall. I'm a dark-skinned black woman and I live in Canada. Even though it's a predominantly white country black people do exist, and it's very multicultural and multiracial so this incident can't even be thrown to a never seen a black person territory. So, I was at the mall with my sister going down the escalator and there was this white woman behind me holding a coffee in her hand. 
so as we are going down I feel a light touch on my back, and I turn around, and she just looks at me in shock. I realize she was trying touch my skin. This is not that uncommon as many people touch me, or my hair without my consent, which is another story entirely. I'll let it go cause I didn't want to assume anything, and it could have been an innocent touch. So I turn around. And all of a sudden I feel hot coffee on my back. The swimming poured her coffee on my back intentionally. At first I thought it was accidental so, before she says anything, I started to reassure it's okay, because who would purposely pour coffee on another person? But she just keeps looking at the place she poured the coffee just repeating wow. I've never seen skin that dark. Wow. Wow. Look at how it slides down. So soft. Wow. And then it clicks she poured it intentionally to see how my skin would react to the coffee. This incident still shocks me today and I just remember thinking, did that just happen? 